I've got head coach Honey Brown here after a 79-67 setback against Wofford. Uh, coach, first and foremost, outscored Wofford 23-17 in the fourth quarter and 20-18 in the second quarter. What was the what was the biggest um, what was the biggest adjustment in terms of just consistency from quarter to quarter tonight? Yeah, I'm not sure there was an exact correlation from quarter to quarter. I think we got our press going a little bit better in the fourth, and that generated some possessions. Um, we also shot the ball better. You know, when you're not shooting the three well, and then all of a sudden you start making some in the fourth, that helps cut that deficit quickly. Um, second quarter, I just thought we executed a little bit better. I thought we were a little bit more patient. I thought we worked to get a better shot. Um, I thought we knocked down some free throws, you know, and again, that was something we needed to do a little better as the game continued on, but um, I just think we were more consistent in those quarters from a execution standpoint. So three Bulldogs in double figures tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll call it a quiet 17 from Jordania Ivy, um, just off the schneid of leading, leading all scores. Kind of talk about, you know, the balanced scoring effort we saw again tonight. Yeah, I mean, that was something I wish that we could have been balanced a little bit earlier in the in the game as far as, you know, knocking down more open shots and getting more open looks earlier in the game instead of just the fourth quarter. But, you know, we talked about this in the locker room just now. It was like building a little bit more momentum before we would go to Austin P. And I think that was a good sign that we hit a few shots down the stretch to build that. So, you know, touching on the on the Austin P. game on Wednesday, obviously a quick turnaround. You know, mm. what, what positives do you take into Wednesday, into practice tomorrow, and then – What's, what's the first thing that needs to be addressed tomorrow morning? Yeah, I think we're hungry, hopefully. I mean, that's something that we talked about in the, in the locker room as a group. You know, hopefully we're hungry to get a win. Hopefully we're ready to, to punch, counterpunch. I think that's a big piece. I think sometimes we get down or whatever and we, we can't find a way to, to fight back quick enough. And I think that's something that we just talked about as a group. So I'm anxious to see if we can do that uh, against Austin P. Because everybody, every team makes a run or everybody makes a counter of some sort. And then what, what do you, what's your response to that? And I think that's what we want to, we want to show that we can, we can do that. That sounds good, Coach. Best of luck on Wednesday. Thank you. All right, I've got McKinley Brooks Sumter after a tough one against Wofford Mick. 13 points, 12 boards, second double-double of the season for tonight. What was, what was working for you tonight? Um, that's just my job. I obviously didn't shoot too well tonight, so I was attacking the boards on both ends. If my shot's not falling due, the next best thing I can do for my team is stay in it and crash the boards hard. So, you know, I talked with Coach Brown a little bit about this, but kind of talk about the, the wave of energy that came on late in the fourth quarter when you guys started to see shots falling. Um, I feel like we can always have that energy. It's just about us figuring out how we can have it all four quarters, all 40 minutes. That's going to be key for us to head in the upward trajectory that we're trying to go. Absolutely. So last kind of quick thing, what's, what's kind of the mindset for you guys going into tomorrow on the road and then Wednesday ultimately to take on Austin P. Um, staying together and being ready to fight. It's not going to get easier. We have to stay together, keep pushing, and trust what the work that we've done. Thanks, man. Thanks.